another thing that was actually interesting, I was talking to a client earlier this week, or maybe it was last week, and she, uh, because she doesn't sleep well, she wasn't waking up. She wasn't, then when she did wake up, she wasn't eating until midday, and then not eating again until the evening. And then when she did eat, she was really hungry. So, and because she's in pain, she needed stuff that was easy to prepare. So it's generally out of a packet, because peeling things, etc., is hard going. And then because she doesn't sleep very well, she's, she goes to bed, she doesn't sleep very well, so then she gets up and she eats more. And so what she's basically doing is she's, she's going to bed with her digestive system overloaded. She can't sleep because of that, because her body's having to work really, really hard to break down all these foods that she's eaten. And then she's putting more on top of that. But also what she was doing was, you know, you've got to remember when you've eaten a large meal like that, basically your capillaries, the blood from your capillaries, you know, we've got the shunts, is shunted into your digestive system. The work that I do with sports people, I know that the damage that they do during training to their muscles and the little cross bridges we spoke about before is mended at night. And at night we give out human growth hormone, yes. which um, and one of the things that's supposed to do is suppress insulin, which should help with fat burning as well. So by all of the blood being shunted into her digestive system, she had nothing to carry the nutrients into the muscles to mend to help with her pain levels. So it seems to me, and I only really thought about it yes. after working that's with her, yes. and I thought, well, you know, that's what she's doing to herself. And it's almost like, um, you know, people who have fibromyalgia, there's mm. often that whole chronic fatigue thing that Absolutely. goes along with it. Mm. And when you actually look at the patterns that they're living in, you can see why it's really easy to get into that spiral. And by turning her around and saying, okay, so when you wake up, this is what I want you to mm. eat. and then you are going, okay, so she wasn't eating then till nine o'clock, but I said, you are going to eat then. So then nine, she can have lunch at 12. So then she's having an afternoon tea time at around 3.30. So then she didn't overeat in the evening. Yes. And then we allowed her when she woke, because she had this habit then, she felt like she needed food to go back to sleep. We allowed her to cut up slices of apple or pear to pick at. And it's just absolutely changed her her energy levels and how she feels about coping with the pain levels. Mm. It's just revolutionized the difference, you know, in her face and her personality in in ten days. It's just amazing.